Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, today is the final day. Well, I guess final day and a few hours for the Jurassic Park World The Gates. This crowdsource project has been, well, it's been, uh, had its own share of problems, really. Um, you know, and unfortunately, it really has come to the last day. However, I would like to find out, at least examine, what could have been done to save this project. And maybe there's even a possibility, perhaps, that they could extend the project if they have the right goals in mind, particularly some stretch goals that I think everyone could get on board with. Let's have a look, guys, and see exactly what happened and whether or not it's possible to save this project. Let's have a look. Some crazy developments have been happening in the world of crowdfunding with corporations, and I've got to tell you, this is absolutely crazy. The Star Wars The Vintage Collection, The Ghost, did actually hit its funding goal of 8,000 backers today, around 9.22 Pacific Time, something like that, uh, which is about uh, 12, 12, 22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Congratulations to the HasLab Star Wars team. Finally, <laughs> and I mean this, I mean this genuinely. I mean this genuinely. Congratulations because they finally got another winner, and it's been a while. It has been a while, uh, but they're back on track and running parallel to the Ghost is, of course, my pick for showstopper of San Diego Comic Con. Yes, guys, I am talking about the Thundercats Cats Lairs by Super 7. Oh my God, everybody. This is running parallel to the Ghost, so it's gonna enter some problems, I'm pretty sure. However, after the first four days of funding, the Cats Lair has already reached one third of its backing goal, 1,148 backers with 54 days and 10 hours to go. There's a lot of time to back this, and I am gonna go out on a limb by declaring that this will reach its 3,000 backer goal to get produced. That is my prediction right now. However, will it reach the 3,000 backers required to unlock the early bird bonus by July 30th? That I'm not 100% sure. I think we will get a huge spike in the last couple of days, maybe two or three days out. But to be perfectly honest with you, it's looking a little bit thin uh, to be able to reach that backing goal. So guys, if you are looking to get this exclusive and frankly going to be extremely rare early bird bonus of a full size key of Thundera, better hurry because there are only five days left as we can see here by this counter five days 10 hours and 21 minutes left to get in best of luck everybody this is looking great and of course we are well on our way to getting the cat's lair fully funded but that's not what we're talking about today guys today <laughs> we're talking about another crowdsource project the countdown to extinction has begun and only one day 11 hours nine minutes until the jurassic park closes this is the last chance to back the crown fund and i would just wanted to take a look and see what exactly happened and if there's anything that could have been done to save this project mattel showed off their jurassic world the gates at san diego comic-con this year and honestly it looks spectacular it looked absolutely gorgeous it wasn't a, it was a sight to behold however with only one day remaining i'm not sure this one's gonna make it everybody um as of 1 39 p.m eastern standard time the project has reached 1,529 backers and is far, far, far short of its goal of 5,000 backers to get this into production. And I really don't think it's going to make it, I'm sorry to say. This project, unfortunately, has been plagued with a lot of problems. Not the least of which being the fact that they experimented with the idea of having complete support of the project to be funded initially by U.S. backers to try and reach their 5,000 backer goal before actually including any of in the, any of our their international fans. I think that was a huge mistake and actually soured fans all over the world uh, for not being able to back this. After all, this is the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park and a lot of fans were hoping to celebrate that with this gate crown fund. Unfortunately, uh, the, the tiers initially were not that great, but closer to the end, and I think they waited just a little bit too long to pull the trigger, about a week ago, they rearranged the tiers to include on Unlock 1, the Jurassic World motorized entrance gates, the Ford Explorer, the post-electrocution Tim figure, as well as the enclosure fence which in and of itself is actually a great bundle. And that bundle was reorganized for the first unlock. 
at $250, that actually seems like a pretty decent value. However, it seems like a bit of a reach right at the end when they should have really been thinking about this more closer to the middle. I think if they had rearranged the tiers right in the middle of the campaign, something else could have been done. After all, they also offered Buck, finally, at only 6,000 backers, which was a very far cry from his initial funding goal of 8,000 backers. And this would have been the first time fans would have seen Buck in action figure form. And I think a lot of people would have definitely supported this if there was given enough time. As it is right now, that is no longer the case. And finally having Lex and a goat as the final tiers at 8,000 backers just seems a bit strange. So many different issues with this. And unfortunately, I am pretty confident in saying that the Jurassic Park gates will not be in our future. But I am looking to reflect on what could have been done. Could there have been anything done to save this project? A lot of people are pointing to the fact that the tiers just weren't that interesting. I mean, the gates themselves, as iconic as they are, really did need the support of all the other tiers to really make this into a viable package. Thematically, Buck is the elephant in the room in this whole situation. He's not even part of Jurassic Park. He's part of the Lost World, which isn't even part of the Jurassic World branding, which is where this entire set falls under. It's a very strange juxtapositioning of all of these types of elements. And a lot of people were just kind of scratching their heads. Very similar in the way to how HasLab was including very interesting, shall we say, stretch goals. Like Madeline Pryor, who really has no connection to Ghost Rider, especially in this incarnation. Mephesto who, although is a very recognizable Ghost Rider character, actually did not connect very well with this particular Ghost Rider. And of course, Damon Hellstrom, again, just a little bit of a weird stretch goal. All three of these just did not fit thematically with the Engine of Vengeance. And the same goes through with Buck. He just thematically does not fit. I personally believe that this might have been a case where Gennaro, might have been the one to save this HasLab project. If you guys will recall, back on San Diego Comic-Con last year, Mattel Creations created a beautiful set of the Jurassic World Hammock Collection Outhouse Chaos set. They created an exclusive called the Jurassic World Hammock Collection Outhouse Chaos set, and this was awesome. It depicted the final moments of Hammond's lawyer, Donald Gerano, as he ran away screaming in terror from the Tyrannosaurus Rex paddock, only to be chased down and finally eaten by the Tyrannosaurus, which he was hiding from. A wonderful set altogether, and I'd like to believe that if Gernaro, the outhouse, and this additional sign were one of the tiers, that would have been thematically correct, as well as a more accurate Tyrannosaurus Rex. Although I think a lot of people would have definitely backed Buck and forgiven the thematic inaccuracies at that level. This, of course, alone would not have been enough, in my opinion, to successfully fund the campaign either. One more piece would have been great, and looking through everything that's already been offered. I mean, the truth is, a lot of people might groan at this one as well, but thematically, I think that the Jurassic World Legacy Velociraptor Containment Chaos action figure playset thematically would have been the playset, or at least pieces of it, to bring this whole collection together. Yes, it is still available for purchase on Target.com. However, I think that certain elements of this playset, not the entire piece, mind you, would really have brought this collection and unified everything in one coherent piece. It's really about certain pieces that you need to include. I mean, after all, this is an expensive set to begin with. However, I believe that if you included the Raptor, the transportation cage, and one worker, a brand new exclusive worker for the set with a different color deco, another different deco for his vest and his weapons, signifying that he's perhaps another cage master or someone else significant in the scene, would really help to unify this entire pack out and really have helped to propel these gates to a final funding. Unfortunately, it's one of those things where we're just left wondering what could have been if this project hadn't had so many issues throughout its campaign. Guys, this is quite the head scratcher and I myself would have actually backed this as I really do love Jurassic Park. And this is one of those celebratory pieces which I would have wanted in my collection. Unfortunately, as it stands, it will not be hitting its target goal of 5,000 backers with the few hours left in the day. And it is a real shame, as this is the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park, and this would have definitely been a crown jewel for any Jurassic Park fan. And I hope in the future they will attempt this again, and it really is something of a modern marvel, just as Jurassic Park was meant to be. I want to mention as well that I myself would not refuse an extension on this if, and I do mean this, if they would actually add one even one 
of these suggestions that I made today, I honestly think that thematically people would be really excited to pick up a bundle which included the Velociraptor set, again key pieces, the exclusive Outhouse Chaos set sans the T-Rex, and I really do believe that removing the Jeep and including the kids along with the goat as well as leaving in Buck, which again thematically doesn't make sense, but people have been asking for him for such a long time, would probably help to get this across the line. Well guys, this crowdsource project is definitely one which is going to go into the books and uh, for good or for bad, I think we can learn a lot of lessons from it. Let me know in the comment section below if you were interested in backing this project and whether or not you thought it was good value for the money, or if you thought that this project was, well, not worth it in the beginning, and honestly, a lot of the stretch goals were just not worth the time, especially considering that many of them were still available on the market today. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. And if you're in the position to help with the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do it without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Good journey, everybody. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.